Welcome to our tutorial of Quick Surface. Today we will show you our new command which is called Fit Surface. This is a um, surface that it approximates uh, points on the reference mesh. And the way it works is similar to fitting a plane. It requires to have a selection, so I will just use my selection tool to pick the area which is interesting to me. You don't need to be precise. So you can even have some missing selection here, that's not a problem. You can also improve your selection using your normal brush tools to get um, near the boundaries. And when you are ready, all you do is just press the fit surface. When you, for the first time you start this, the software uses the nearest uh, plane which approximates the surface and creates uh, surface that goes through the points. Initially it starts with the U and V 10 by 10 and the user can play with this and control how many control points he has in order to get closer to the surface. For example, I'll just press 20 in this case and I can see my deviation. The reason we implemented this to go in directly into inspection mode because it's much more valuable so the user can quickly see what's going on. You can always turn off this inspection mode and you can see the shape, you can turn on the reference mesh and you can analyze the quality of actual surface. Also uh, another important point is uh, the orientation of the initial plane. By default it's selection bounds which means that the software approximates the selection with the minimum bounding box and then this is what it's used for reference of the orientation but the user in some applications may want this to be aligned to the world coordinate system so you can get a different orientation of the surface and it really depends on your application how you want to use this uh, surface another option that it is for this um, surface is how smooth it, you want this to be you can play with the smooth slider, the level of the smoothness you want to apply. But the smoother surface you get, the more you deviate from original mesh. So you need to compromise between the quality and the smoothness of the result. And when you are happy with this, you, you can accept. But there is another option in many cases which uh, the users want. And this is the auto command which probably you use a lot the way it works based on the target tolerance it starts increasing the number of u and v control points to achieve the desired uh, tolerance you set up your expected um, tolerance which is the best for you in this case i work with the 50 micro then you press ok it starts increasing the number of u and v direction and as you see it achieved our desired goal um, on the level of 19 by 19. The reason you have some outliers here, some points that are not, because we try to aim for 95% of all the points to be within the tolerance. We do this because there is always a noise and uh, we want to compromise with this. You can also play this with a tighter tolerance, for example, 30 microns, but I wouldn't go too extreme because uh, the data are noisy and um, if you go to one micron for example it will get to its maximum. The maximum number of control points you can get with this auto command is 50 by 50. We don't want to overload this and make it too hard so we leave this later for the customer who wants to add more control points. But we all know that the more points we have, it's much harder to be controlled and to be used. As you see now, I increased enormously the number of control points in v-direction. I'll just leave this as a 26 now. And these are all controls you need to use for the fit surface. When you're happy, you just press OK. And of course, you can just apply this as a normal trim operation with the other surfaces here. I can just select it and use it in a trim command so I can get um, this uh, trimmed and used for other uh, other applications. And this is what I will get. 
can control Z and just uh, and this is my trimmed uh, surface which you can use later for other modeling processes. Thank you for watching.